Hi, today we're going to be going over how to use shapes, a uh, quick tutorial about how to use shapes right after this. Okay, so I just basically got a blank page here and I'm just going to create some cool shapes. And I'm also going to show you how to align them and just do a bunch of cool stuff with shapes today. So um, I have, I'm right now on my move tool. Um, to get to my, sh any of my shape tools, I have to click on them or um, for the shortcut key, um, it's M. So as you keep pressing M, it'll keep switching to the different tools. And you can also customize your tools. I have that in another tutorial, as you'll see up here at the top. And um, so here are the rest of the tools that you can customize and stick them on here if you want. So, but I'm going to show you the simple tool, uh, simple ones first that are already out here. As your default setting. So when you first draw it, it'll make a, sort of a grayish color. So that um, I guess that's just the default fill color. And then you can change it over here. And um, you can adjust the corner right here to round and to straight and to concave here. And um, it's sort of easy just in case you accidentally wanted to do this rounded rectangle tool. Um, if you have already done this and then you're like, oh man, I want to do the rounded rectangle, you can just go ahead and click here and uh, change it to rounded. Another thing I found that was neat about this was that you can just uncheck single radius and all these um, options will come up for the different uh, corners. So uh, this is abbreviated for top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. So you can change these accordingly to whatever you want. Um, so that's cool and then also there's a button over here that uh, here where you can convert it to curves um, you can click absolute sizes here and it will change this to inches instead of percentage so you can actually tell how big it is um, if you were trying to do this for um, actual real size so that's helpful and um, you can also change the fill up here instead of down there. You can change the stroke up here. And you can also change the outline up here as well. Uh, so that's the rectangle tool. There's many other tools here. Um, these are called smart shapes and I'll just give you an example of one, the polygon tool. So I'm going to drag this out here like that. And to make it um, drawn from the middle, hit command. And to make it a perfect shape, you hit shift. So if I wanted to make this a perfect shift and draw it from the middle, I'd hit command and shift. So here I've got this polygon, and it's cool. And it's and if you didn't have this tool, it'd be so hard to create perfect polygons. Um, so, but with this tool, you can create perfect any size polygon you want. You can type in whatever, however many sides you want right here. Then you can do, um, you can change the curve on the side and make it sort of like a diamondish shape or um, you can just change lots of this stuff without having to convert it to curves and you can also do smooth points so that it won't be very harsh. So that is such a neat tool. Um, all these tools are actually really neat. Um, but as you explore these tools you, you find how much time you save by using them than by than by having to make your own shapes with the pen tool. All uh, obviously the pen tool is 
good for irregular shapes and drawing um, strokes and stuff like that but these are definitely helpful for um, quick designs and quick patterns so I hope that helped you out with making uh, shapes and also um, if you haven't subscribed yeah I would really recommend you to subscribe because I give out I make tutorials every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and um, I would just love to help you guys uh, learn more about Finity Designer if I can. And so, and if you also have any questions or if you want to ask me if I could create uh, different tutorials that would be helpful to you, um, please comment in the area below. Thanks.